What's up, YouTube? And I'm about to get into a super cool video. I'm about to do a wrap on my magazines for my AR-15, okay? So this is gonna be extremely fun to do, all right? Um, they're called Gun Skins, and I got them off Amazon, and this is a three-pack right here, okay? So we're about to look at some details on this, and we are about to install them. Let's go. Okay, so let's get into it, you all. All right, so let's go ahead and start with some of the details that's on this uh, package here. Um, this is the front of it, if you wanna know what it looks like, okay? All right, and you'll see the design I picked in a few minutes. Um, on the back of it, here it lets you know right off back that it's made in the USA. So that's huge for a lot of people, of course. Uh, limited uh, five-year warranty on it, which is pretty cool, okay? Um, they state that it's waterproof, okay? And then another cool thing about it at the top right-hand corner here, it has a barcode where you can watch and install video, okay? So you can watch and install video here and kind of see, you know, how to do it. But of course, you're watching my video, so you may not need that. But anyway, um, you have the installation instructions here. You can thoroughly clean the surface with a gun degreaser. However, I'm going to use alcohol uh, on mine because I couldn't get a hold of any degreaser. So we'll see if that works out. It should work perfectly fine. Um, also, it says apply pre-cut pieces. Apply heat when necessary to stretch and conform the gun skins. Uh, trim as necessary with the razor. And I have that right here. All right. And apply heat and press firmly uh, to set the gun skins. Okay. And of course, I have uh, that right here. Okay. All right. So uh, we're about to go ahead and get into it here. Okay. Oh, uh, and a matter of fact, at the bottom here, too, um, it also, you know, where you can show your support, you know, for more information, que questions or comments. Uh, of course, you can uh, hit them up on that too. So uh, let's go ahead and open the package here. All right. Open this package up. Here we go. Oh yeah. And these look pretty freaking dope, man. And I have a three pack, all right? And this is kind of how it's laid out, guys. So you can see it. So that's exactly how it looks, okay? All right, so set that there, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and clean uh, the magazines off here. All right, so like I said, I'm using um, alcohol here, guys, so this should work out fine. All right. Get it real good. First one there. That nice and clean. Side part there. Let it dry off. All right, I have the first one there. Go ahead and clean this second one up. Like so. Let that dry up. 
and we'll go ahead and start on this one. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so I've already done one already, guys, just so I can kind of get the hang of it. Uh, and it looks pretty dang good. Look at that. All right, so I'm gonna show you all how to put these uh, skins on, these gun skins on, okay? All right, here we go. So you have this right here, your gun skin, okay? Um, I have my mag right here. This is the one that I'm gonna put it on, okay? <clears throat> All right, and so you also, you want this facing towards the back area here, okay? It's the back, it's the front, so you want it facing towards the back area here, facing this way, okay? Uh, and the one that you're going to take off of the sheet will be the one that says the uh, left mag skin, okay? Not the right, okay? Not the right, but the left mag skin, okay? And what I do is I use this little knife here, Okay, this little razor blade, and you kind of have to pick at the corner because it's, it's really, really tight fit. The seam is really tight on the, um, the paper here. So I lift it off real quick. All right. Grab that corner. All right, let me make sure nothing else is on here. It's good. Pull it off. That's the left mag skin. All right. And we're going to go ahead and line it up, guys. All right. So we're going to line it up. And what I do is I line it up down here at the bottom of the mag. All right, and I like my skull right in the middle of it. So you can always adjust this too, so. So let's see if the skull is on the middle. Yeah, that's actually just about right. So go ahead and give it a little press here. Okay. And then you have these um, separations here, okay? Make sure you separate them here and it makes it a whole lot easier to get the skin on, okay? And so I think the hardest part to the mag really is areas like this in here, okay? Those are like the, the hardest parts, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take it and try to get it in the condition area. And I have a little squeegee device here. Okay, kind of roll it on there. Make sure it's in there really good. This one is longer, so you wanna make sure you pull with it. Okay, that's not sitting too well. You can always lift back up on it, guys, too, so keep that in mind. All right, that's on there pretty good. in that area there. Those, like I said, are the hardest areas to get in. You're doing it. And you know, you're gonna have different mags and different mags are gonna have different little indention areas too, guys, okay? See if I can get you guys a little bit more light going here so you can see it. OK. 
Okay. All right, we're gonna apply, well, I'm not gonna apply any heat yet. Well, no, I'm not gonna apply any heat yet. Let's go ahead and do this side here. You can kind of smooth it out, guys, with this too, okay? That helps big time. There goes another cut there. You wanna make sure you use that to your advantage. Put that on there and put that on there. That's one side. Okay, so now we're gonna use the heat gun. So you don't want to use too much heat because if you use too much heat, it can most definitely start to make it look like shiny, too shiny. Okay. Apply the heat. It's best to use a heat gun. The heat gun heats it up really good. Okay. Try to be as perfect as I can be with this. All right, guys. All right, that's one side down. to look as natural as possible so keep pressing and you can actually see the the pattern here you know and when you're putting these on guys it gets a little gets a little warm so just be careful okay be careful All right, so it looks like that side is done well. All right, so we're gonna start on the, uh, the back here, okay? Then I'll go back over it. So this would be the right max scan, guys, okay? Oh, actually, I can just pick it from the bottom on this one. It looks like this one is already good to go all right take this mag scan line it up at the bottom make sure your skull is in the middle of the mag all right this is the hardest part to me trying to get it lined up. And 
in to make sure the skull is. I don't like that to come over just a little bit. I could come over just a little bit more, actually. Just a little bit more. Yes, this might work. And remember guys, I'm in behind the camera trying to do this, so. Yeah, that should be good. That's good enough for me. Try to make sure my skull is centered on that edge, you know? Yeah, so that's good enough there. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the cut area here. And remember, you have these little annoying areas right here, guys. This is the hardest part. So I kind of just kind of take the uh, fingernail and then put it on. You can kind of rub those out too, once it's on there. Rub the little wrinkles out. Even if it's a wrinkle in it, you can kind of smooth it out with your hand, okay? You know? Take my fingernail and I kind of get in that indention there, and that'll 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 smooth itself out shortly. Okay, you got to be kind of patient while doing this, guys, but the end result is just beautiful. All right, so I have that side. That side looks pretty good so far little wrinkle there that'll come out in a few minutes once I tighten it up and heat it up. All right. So you have that there. Yeah, make sure you separate these right here. This, this makes it a whole lot easier to lay it down. Okay. Then you have that last little piece right there. All right, guys. It's a little bit wrinkled right there, see? I've already laid that down, so that's not a big deal to me. Once I heat it up, it'll look good. See, I'm passing the heat to it. Oh, got a little hot. All right, push down in those areas.
And when you're doing these guys, it's not gonna be perfect, but if you're patient, it will look really, really good. Really good, as you can see. It is complete, guys. Heat gun over here smoking. It's funny. <laughs> I really like that to look as natural as possible. You know, you got to be careful because if you press too hard, you know, it'll nick up on it a little bit. You don't want to rub on it because then it'll start to do a little damage, it looks like, right there, just a little bit. All right. Yeah, this is most definitely something. I mean, you can rush through it, but if you rush through it, it's, it's not going to be a really good job. You know what I mean? So just a little patience. Guys, I think I got a finished product here. Pretty much. guys that's about it so it looks like it's on there pretty freaking good look at that tell me that ain't dope yeah boy all right that's it guys and like i said the hardest areas are going to be right in those indention areas so you just have to be kind of really patient with that right there and um of course, I have two different type of mags. This is here is my original mag, I believe, that came with the uh, uh, the Ruger 556. So this was the original 30 round mag right here. And so as you can see, it's a little bit, it's made a little bit different, you know, if you look at it from one of the ones I purchased in the store. So you can see on the side, those are shorter. Those indentions are shorter from here. So this one was a little bit easier to do than this one because these are shorter. Um, but that's it, guys. So that's it. And uh, I'm going to let you guys see what it looks like really quick uh, on the firearm, all right? Okay, you all. So you've seen the full process on how to actually install one of those gun skins, okay? All right, so here goes the finishing product right here. All right. And here she is. That's what it looks like, guys. Nasty. Super nasty. Look at that. Looks great. Give you a close-up here. All right. Looks awesome. All right, guys, so... That's the process. If you have any questions, 
let me know. I most definitely will be able to uh, help you guys out. Um, and leave a like, comment, and subscribe will be highly appreciated. And other than that, was it a hard process? You just have to be extremely patient with it, okay? So be extremely patient with it, take your time. And if you take your time, your mags will actually come out perfect, okay? So it'll come out perfect if you take your time. So just take your time, guys, all right? All right, I appreciate all you all. I'm getting very, very close to hitting my um, 500 subscription mark so i'm super excited about that and as soon as i hit 500 you will hear a big announcement here guys so the page is getting bigger i appreciate it and like i said before i appreciate all the overwhelming amount of support that you guys are giving me through cash app too so that's great so thank you so much oh and keep in mind too merch is coming merch is coming so i'm creating my merch right now that way you guys can buy shirts you know hats and different things like that. So I appreciate your support, all right? Thank you. And remember, I'm not from this planet.